I might even be more radical than those guys on this. I, I don't I don't think there's any way to solve this permanently without military action. Yeah, uh, we can create a buffer on our side of the river, on our side of the border, and that's helpful. Sealing a thirteen hundred mile border very difficult, and I think you know he said a a border, whatever a buffer zone. I would call it. It's like the DMZ between the Koreas. Yeah. There needs to be a kilometer of cleared territory that is a no man zone. Come in here. We we believe you're hostile. You have hostile intent, and we're going to clear you out. And it needs to be that way. That would require military action, whether that's from Texas or the federal government. I would prefer it's the federal government does that. I think that we ought to acknowledge that the cartels have declared war on the United States of America. Uh, and whether they say it or not, in their actions, they've declared war on us. They control our border now. I don't know if you've seen Ben Shapiro's new special uh, on the invasion. It's absolutely incredible. He's got a drone flying right I thought up. you were going to ask me if I saw Ben Shapiro's new rap song. I did see that. <laughs> yes, number one, by the way. That was very uh, good, Which too. he is very proud of. Yep. It's, it's just weird, man, but it's good. <laughs> Same week, a number one rap song, full-length interview with Elon Musk at Auschwitz. Uh, and the border documentary released. I don't know how he did. Wow. The guy doesn't sleep. Wow. Uh, but yeah. he, in one of the scenes, there's a drone flying directly above him, and he goes, "Oh, is that one of ours?" And the border patrol, 24 year border patrol guy, said, "No, that's that's a cartel drone." He goes, "Well, are you going to shoot it down?" What? And he said, "No, we're not allowed to." And he goes, "What do you mean you're not allowed to?" And he said, "You have to get permission personally from Secretary Mayorkas to shoot down any drones." And he said, "That drone's watching us because they know we're not a normal patrol." And they're trying to figure out what we're doing here. So they send a drone to check us out. Oh, wow. And so this is oh, wow. so why I tell that story. Ugh. He said that the cartels have operational control of the border. We don't. We're not doing that kind of stuff. They are. And so we have to yeah. get that operational control. The only way to do it is militarily. Uh, I think that the federal government ought to go in and make military strikes against the cartels. Uh, we know where they are. We know where they're headquartered. We know where their people are. We need to do it in this country in a mass coordinated fashion because the cartels are well ensconced in this country, pretty yeah. much in every major city and most of the minor cities in this country. We need to round them up, throw them in prison, send them back to Mexico. I, I mean, frankly, I'm going to use a really harsh word. We need to exterminate the cartels. Yeah. And so that means going into Mexico. Now, people would say, well, you're violating a sovereign country's territory. Well, Mexico is not a sovereign country any longer. Mexico is a failed narco state. The yep. federal government is not in control of their military. The federal government is not in control of their police. Their state governments are not. Their local governments not in control of their police forces. That is a failed narco terrorist state. And so we have to treat it as such. And I don't mind. Let's go in. Let's clean out the cartels. Let's do what has to be done. Prop up a a government that is actually a government that is going to be friendly to the United States and and is going to continue to work with us to limit cartel activity in Mexico. If we don't do that, we're going to have a terrorist state, which we have right now on our border forever. To me, this is like Gaza. They're invading our country. They're invading our country every day. They're killing our people. Yeah. And we have to go in and use maximum force to oust them, create a buffer zone along the border. If we do that, we'll have border security. It's that simple.